Hey there, you're listening to the Pursue Your Spark podcast. I'm your host, Heike Yates. We're here to help you live a healthy, fit, and confident lifestyle with tips, strategies, and interviews. Listen to the most inspiring women and how they dared to live the life they dreamed of and handle roadblocks in their path. Hey there, and welcome to another quick tip episode on the Pursue Your Spark podcast. I'm your host, Heike Yates. I am so pumped that you're here with me today, getting tips and strategies for a happier and healthier midlife. Easy to do, step-by-step instructions, and today is no exception. But before we dive in, I want to share with you the details of my four-week Lean Out program. I only run this program three times per year, so get on the wait list right now so you don't miss out on the next start of the program. You may say, Heike, what is the four-week Lean Out program? Well, it's a comprehensive four-week program that will show you how to eat better with a focus on intermittent fasting. We're tuning up your fitness and helping you lean out in midlife with clear simple and balanced action steps. You'll receive a daily calendar with doable and easy to follow step-by-step workouts that you can do in the comfort of your home with minimal to no equipment. I am using the latest science on intermittent fasting and macronutrient coaching to help you get your metabolism back to where it should be. We're also including mindful eating habits, which we're talking about on the show today. You will have the support of myself, of course, and other women that are on the same journey for support, inspiration, and accountability. So sign up right now. The link will be in the show notes. So for today's episode, we're talking mindful eating versus intuitive eating. Intuitive eating and uh, mindful eating are interchangeable, but they do mean slightly different things. So today we specifically talk about what is mindful eating and five steps to practice mindful eating. So what is mindful eating? Mindful eating is the practice of eating mindfully and being present while eating. You're paying attention to the reason for your hunger, whether you're eating emotionally, uh, for comfort, or you eat because you always eat at 7 p.m. at night. So for whatever the reason you're eating is what we're paying attention to. We're practicing being present without judgment of whether a food is good or bad or healthy versus unhealthy. That at this point is not what we're practicing. It's simply eating paying attention to eating. Now, intuitive eating, on the other hand, is more of a form of self-discovery, of eating mindfully and without guilt. So very similar. It incorporates mindful eating practices while also emphasizing the relationship between the mind, your emotions, the body, fitness and healthy body weight, and food, eating for nourishment or pleasure. So find out more about intuitive eating in my blog, and I'll put a link in the show notes. So back to mindful eating. Mindful eating is the practice of eating without distractions and awareness. Okay, here's a typical example. The dinner and the movie is my favorite when it comes to a lazy night of just chilling out, not paying attention to anything, and don't have to worry about whatever is on my plate. So you make your food, you prepare your plate, you put everything on the plate, put on your favorite movie, and off it is, shoveling your food down while watching a fun, entertaining movie. I've done it, I'm just as guilty as the next person, but I don't do it every night. So every couple of weeks, I'll grab my husband and I say, dude, I don't wanna talk about anything, I just wanna, veg out with my food watching a show or a movie but it's not the norm and that's why we're talking about this because eating mindlessly seems to have 
be the norm in many households. The dinner together with the family has gone by the wayside. Um, people are eating standing up on the run or grab a bar as they run out the door and that's breakfast. Um, you name it, lunch, standing at the counter, eating out of a plastic container. So mindfulness has really, in my opinion, gone by the wayside. And that's why I want to bring you back to mindfulness when it comes to eating. But be patient with yourself practicing mindful eating. You will not nail it the first or the second time. You still may have trouble, but practice makes perfect. Not really perfect, but better. That's what we want. Better, not perfect. By following this process, you will improve your relationship with food. And that, my friend, may translate into other aspects of your life. So, without further ado, here are the five steps to practicing mindful eating. Number one, set the table. Even if you're just one person, set the table. Put on a nice tablecloth. Put out your cutleries, a nice napkin instead of the paper towel. Serve the food in the kitchen and then plate it. Take that plate, put it in front of you. And number two, sit down to eat. So instead of eating at the counter or while doing chores, taking a bite each time as you run by the plate. My mom is a, a perfect example of that. She used to uh, eat her dinner doing chores. She's like, oh, it's dinner time. I already ate because she ate her plate while she did cleaned or put stuff away. So don't do that. Sit down and make mealtime a habit. It's not taking that long to eat a plate because we're eating slow and with awareness. Number three, turn off or silence all electronics. I mean, all of them. Eat and only eat. Take time to relax and enjoy the food without distractions or interruptions from an electronic device like a game that's blaring in the back of your dining room. So pay full attention to what's on your plate. Number four, pause. Don't just grab the spoon or the fork and start shoveling. Take a few breaths before you even start. Appreciate the food on your plate. Enjoy the color, smell the aroma, and see what you actually put on your plate. I know you saw it in the kitchen, but once it's nicely plated, it looks so great. So take a moment to appreciate the food that's in front of you. And then number five, eat slowly. Stop shoveling the food down so you're done in five seconds, not for maybe five minutes. Be aware of the texture of the food. Again, the taste, the different flavors of your food. And observe how crunchy the broccoli may be or how soft and tender the chicken is and juicy. And just delve into, I mean, I can envision the food right now as you probably hear me just slobbering all over the meal and thinking, oh, how delicious is this in my mind? Because I'm thinking juicy, soft chicken, crunchy broccoli, and maybe some tomatoes on the side. Oh, they're so, smells delicious. So eat slowly, take your time. And we have a bonus tip today. Once you took a bite, put down your fork, knife, or spoon, or whatever it is you're eating with. Focus on the food that's in your mouth. Wait until everything is fully chewed and swallowed before you take another bite. Don't keep shoveling. Wait till you swallow it and enjoy the sensation of the chewing and the breathing and how it feels when you actually allow yourself time to experience a mindful meal. So much more fun. So there you have it, the five tips to practice mindful eating. So what do you think? Will you give eat mindful eating a try? If not, why not? Tag me over on Instagram at Pursue Your Spark Podcast or at Heike Yates and let me know what you think about today's episode. 
I really want to know if you are implying mindful strategies, what's the one that you enjoy the most? So let me know. And you know where to sus- subscribe and listen at the iTunes, at Apple Podcast, we're at Google Play, and we're on Spotify as well. So we are on all the platforms. And that's it for today, my friends. I'll see you next week with another incredible interview. This time, we're talking type 1 diabetes and how hope changed one woman's life for good. So with that, my friends, I'll see you next week. Have a super awesome day and I'll see you next time. Ciao.